Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And I have my little niece, Amelia, here helping me with my devotionals again. And uh, the verse is Psalm 27, verse 3, and it says, Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. It says, Children born under a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hand. How joyful is this man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts his accusers at the city gates. And so that's the message for today, that children are a gift. And I know my brother Kyle, my sister-in-law, Kaylee, they know what a gift she is. In fact, they, they love her so much that they uh, have informed us that they're pregnant again. And they will in November, they'll have two little ones, both under two. So yes, their lives will be crazy and they will be busy, but they will be blessed even more from God. And that is what I want you to understand is how precious they are to God. Children are so precious to God. And one of the most horrifying evils of this world is abortion. That is so evil. It is so wrong. It is killing what God has, has made precious. And it doesn't just stop with abortion. In fact, California just passed a seven day law, which means that they won't investigate any any child that dies seven days after being born. And they're trying to get it to a 28-day law where a child can die in 28 days. A mother doesn't want, his ch want her child and she can let, her, let the child die within 28 days and not be punished for it. So that is a terrible evil that the church needs to stand against. Your prayers are so needed for that. But even in the midst of this evil, let us praise God because it is... Looking very much like the Roe versus Wade case, the, the Supreme Court case that first allowed abortion will be overturned and it will, you know, become uh, across the board a federal law that will no longer allow for abortions. So pray for that to happen and praise God that it looks like it will. Roe versus Wade has been has has been a a Supreme Court decision that has allowed for the to the death of millions and millions of babies and so may we pray that it comes to an end because these children are a gift from God and so let us never forget how what a blessing they are and let us never forget to stand up against that great evil because our Lord is is working and our Lord is moving and so won't you be in prayer that the Roe versus Wade case does come to an end and that the evils that California is doing is stopped because children are precious I mean look how precious they are and God thinks that they are so very precious so we ought to as well amen